Good morning, everybody. It's time for science. I've got Dylan and his mom, Trish, here, and they're going to show you balloon rockets. Take it away. Hello. Welcome to the science zone. I'm Dylan, but you can call me the science guy. Today, we're working with balloons. We're going to see what happens when we blow balloons and then let go of them. So, what do we think is going to happen when I let go of this balloon? If we theorize what's going to happen, that's called a hypothesis. That's our big science word for the day. As you can see, it sort of propelled itself. If we blow it up even more, it's going to go farther. See? So what happened is I blew air into it, and then when, when I let go, the air went out of it, and it propelled it forward. And we can use that idea with some string, a straw, and some tape. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to blow the balloon now. Okay? I'll hold it in. Yeah. Now, if we take a straw. And using a pipe cleaner, we can get the get the yarn through the straw using a pipe cleaner like that. So it's like a needle, right? Yeah. All right, I'll hold this in. Okay. And you need. To oh, am I gonna let it go? Yeah. Dylan, how long is our string? Our string is six feet long. Super familiar distance right now. Okay. This is kind of tricky, Dylan. Yeah, you might need an extra pair of hands. Maybe ask an adult nearby to help you. This one is 12 feet long, so it's double the distance. Ooh, that's pretty far. Where are they going to find all of these supplies? We're giving it to them. It is. It's in that package that you all picked up on Friday. All of your supplies are in there. Now, one of the things you can do is test out some different kinds of strings. Maybe try fishing line. Maybe try smaller piece of string. Maybe a piece of ribbon to see Miss, what's happening. Miss because, Andrew, why would different strings make it go differently? What's another word for us today? Friction. Friction, that's when things rub against each other. That's why we thought fishing line is very smooth. Your rocket might go even further. Now what happens if we blow the balloon up to a different amount? Look at all the different things that you guys can try to experiment with this. Oh, here comes the balloon. We've Oops. got our longer string. <laughs> <laughs> There's some setup time involved. There is setup time involved. And everything you do in science is really trial and error. It's called experimenting. Who's launching this time? I'll launch it. You're going to launch? Okay. Look at this. We're working together. That's building community. Here you go. You got it? Nope. Okay, you tell me when you've got it. I have it now. All right, I'm stepping back. Okay. Ready? Dylan, this time could we do a countdown? Sure. From what number? Three. Two. two one. Left off! Woo! Woo! Dylan, it still had tons of energy left. Do you think we could go even further? I think we have to try. Guys, you can try to see how long you can make your string go. Just keep going longer and longer. Hey Dylan, is that all we have for them so far? That's all for today. Goodbye. To recap, what you need for this science experiment is some yarn, a pipe cleaner, a straw, and a bunch of balloons. Also, you're going to need some tape, but you're going to have to find that yourself. We have not provided you tape. 
The rest will all come in the package you picked up on Friday. 